You know the one thing that I love about Christmas? It's that it's the time of year where we can all just forgive, forget, and just love. Wait until tonight. Then that's when the lights come alive. I'm so fucked up. Yeah. Man. Tis the season to be jolly. Ah, oh, shit! Oh, that's disgusting. This is just the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Huh. Okay. Okay. I know I'm in the dream. I know I'm high as effort now. I gotta snap out of it. I snap out of it. hell right now. Or at least drunk. I gotta wake up. Ooh. Ooh, man. Oh. Note to self. Don't ever go out drinking on eggnog. On a cold night. Ever again. Whew. Man, that was that was as drunk as I Hello? What is this? A 
Nope, I'm Santa. Let's see. Dear Cheta, after hearing everything good about you this year, I've seen that you have become a bright, young, and good soul for the world. And that is why I've chosen you to watch over my sleigh and take over Christmas for this year while I take on a nice, relaxing break. What? P.S. I'll be taking some of your milk. No, he did not. No! That fat bastard took my fucking milk. <laughs> So it's just kind of a fourth wall breach, but that did not mean to happen. <laughs> oh my god, I, that did not mean to happen. Wow, I had to, I had to break the fourth wall for a second to tell you guys that. Holy shit! Now I gotta clean it up. Just crazy. I did not mean that to happen at all. Where's the tape? All right, so I just spent over an hour. Well, actually, not an hour. Really, really like, oh wait. 30 minutes fixing the fridge but uh yeah that that did not mean to happen so I'm so sorry about that folks anyway so let's just get on with the movie all right let's go god damn it first he takes my milk and now he's having me to be fucking now he wants me to be fucking Santa Claus so much responsibility. I can't do that. I can't. <laughs> I just got done fucking saving the world from a fucking chip villain. And now I gotta save the world all because Santa Claus doesn't want to do fucking Christmas this year. Fucking lazy ass fuck. What am I gonna do? Uh, I know I used to say to myself that, man, I must be Santa Claus because I get all the ho-ho-ho's. But I do not literally want to be Santa Claus without to fucking travel around the world delivering kids all fucking gifts and shit. Okay, I should be one getting the ho-ho-hos. I shouldn't be the one doing the ho-ho-hos. Or whatever you call it. I can't even talk shit right now. <laughs> uh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? It's up to me now. It's up to me to say Christmas. What do I do? Hmm. Well, in my time of desperation right now, there's only one person who I can call. And that person is Carnage. Why, hello, Chita. Haven't heard from you in such a long, long time. Yeah, listen, dude, I need your help. Oh, you always need help, don't you? Well,. What do you need help this time, then? Well, it's... It's kind of a long story, really. But supposedly, Santa Claus came to my house and left me a note saying that he's taking a break this year all because of COVID and shit, and now I'm... Uh, given all responsibility. No, I'm sorry. Rephrase. So now I'm gonna be taking over as Santa Claus. So... Yeah. I'm basically gonna be Santa as a little helper this year. So Chita White Horse is gonna be Santa's little helper this year, huh? That is so cute. You know, that's just making my dick hard just thinking about it. <sighs> okay, okay, dude, just stop that. Can you help me or not? Hmm, well, I would love to. But I don't know if I can because I'm on a naughty list this year. 
because I've been a very, very bad boy. Oh god fucking damn it. You know what I want this year, Chip and White Horse? I want that big red sausage leg cock inside of my dick. Okay, I can tell right now it's not gonna happen, but don't you mean inside of your ass and not your dick? No, Chita. I mean inside of my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Carnage, can you help me or not? Hmm. Alright. But in return, I also want a gift. Okay, fine, yes, I'll get you a gift. Now just please help me on this. God, I'm not doing you any sexual favors either. Alright then, you're lost. Guess I'll see you soon, Chita White Horse. Mwah. Alright boys, it's up to me to save Christmas. <laughs> yeah! Alright, let's go. Hey Carnage, the plan is still on, right? Yes, Cheta, we are still on plan. All you gotta do is drop off the gifts and I'll handle the rest. Alright, so here's the plan. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get the gifts, I'm gonna wrap them up. Then I'm gonna drop the other half to you, then I'm gonna take care of the other half. Alright, yes, and your and your gift will be in there. Alright. See you soon, Carnage. Let's go. Alright guys, so first up, gotta get some gas because my car is almost out of it. And we need gas to get to places, right? So what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna pull up to the next, to uh, not the next gas station, to, uh, to the fucking nearest gas station. And we're gonna get some gas. And after that, we'll be on the road. And I'll be able to save Christmas. So, yeah. Alright, let's fill up on gas. Alright, guys, we got some more gas, so now we can get back on the road again. Oh no! I found him with diesel! Oh shit! <laughs> so point guys, we have to walk. We have to walk to the gifts. Hey, it's gonna take me forever! Uh. Guys, it's like getting fucking cold out here. And I'm doing this all for the fucking kids too. Well, not for the kids, really, but for like everyone in the world right now. All because Santa saw the good in me. Which, I won't lie, it's nice. But I don't want to be the one having all the responsibility. So now I gotta walk places now because my car broke down. All because of my stupid decision, I guess. Well, I mean, I didn't know I filled up with diesel. But now I did. <sighs> Fuck me, right?
Alright guys, so it's like, what, 2 o'clock in the morning, and I think it's time to wrap these presents, so let's get started. They're all in my closet too, so I gotta get them out. Alright, so this one goes out to my friend, a very special friend who I will not say not that person's name right now, but uh, if you're watching this, you'll know what it is. <laughs> but um, we're going to start off by putting this Spongebob plush in this big box. Well, it fits. Yes, it does. Oof. Look at this, guys, look at this. Even the, even Spongebob himself is almost like taking up, take up the whole box, but it's it's perfect sizing. It's perfect. So we're gonna set the camera right here and then we're gonna fix up Spongebob. And this goes on, this is going to a person who likes Spongebob, in case you guys are wondering. Uh, where is the other present? I haven't, it's all gonna be mixed into one, so where is that one? Oh, here it is. We got this guy, remember the, this guy from um, the Spongebob intro? I'm gonna put him in there. Or maybe I'll put him underneath Spongebob. Then, believe it or not, I'm gonna put some um, Chef Boyardee beef Ronnie. And you guys might not get it, but it's an inside joke with my friend have. So, I'm gonna put that. Actually, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I'm put everything underneath Spongebob, really. Let's do that instead. I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna put the can of beef runny right here. Oh, and I got one more thing. Hang on. So these were hard to find, but I found the Spongebob gummies. So I'm gonna add that in there. So let's do that real quick. How many is it anyway? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six of the gummies. Um, I don't know how else to display them. Maybe I put them in a straight order. Here, I'll put the camera up here, I guess. That way you guys can see. Put them in a straight order. Set six. One, two, three, four, five. There's one missing. Where is it? There it is. But I want to keep this one for myself because, you know, I got, I love, I love these gummies. So, uh, the person who's receiving this gift, if you're watching this, I hope you don't mind. But um, anyway, so I'm going to finish up the gift here by putting Spongebob on top of it to top it all off. And then put the top part on top. And then, come on, baby. It's gonna fit. I know it will. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. All right. And there we go, guys. It's good. There you go, so the first Christmas present is going out to my special friend. Alright guys, so here it is. Spongebob present that I have for my friend. And so, yeah. i say it's pretty good. Actually, I just forgot something. I have forgotten to tape this, so let's tape this right now. But um, anyway... So I spent almost a whole, like I started planning, I started, um, not planning, so um, I'll tell you guys a story real quick, so, no. Alright, so let's gotta tape the sides here. Uh, maybe I'll use that tape. But, uh, here we go. Just tape the sides, because I don't want the, the box to like come apart. Like, once somebody grabs it, you know what I mean? Because then the, the bottom part could fall off. 
and then there could be a whole mess. So I'm gonna tape the bottom here. And after that, I'll be pretty much good to go. Good to go. Alrighty, guys. So I got the first gift done. Now let's go on to the other ones, shall we? Which they are all right down here. Well, there's more in a closet, but yeah. Now, before we go on to other gifts, I'm going to eat this real quick because I, I love these gummies when I was a kid. Push out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. You guys see this right here? Look at that. Look at that. Can, can we get a focus here? Get a nice deep focus. Come on. There we go. You guys see that? Look at that. That is gummy goodness. You got the patty. You got the pickle. No. Oh, fuck. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> You got the bun, you got the pickle, and you got the patty and the other bun. And the best thing is, you can take all of it apart, then eat it all separately. So, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Pretty good. Big buns. I love buns. I love putting buns in my mouth. And the pickle. Hmm. Not as good as I remembered when I was a kid. But hey, it's still good. Alrighty guys, so I got like hold on. There we go. I got like one gift down and tons more to go. Get all these guys out. Alrighty, guys, so we got all these gifts lined up. There's, there's way more than this, so yeah, I still gotta get everyone a gift for, you know, all because Santa Claus had to cancel this year. So I'm gonna be Santa Claus, even though. I'm not white, but we live in a new world, so everyone can be Santa Claus, right? All right. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start off by doing this gift, which this is a little doggy tree catcher that I got for another friend of mine. Um, this is just well, actually, it's not made for my friend. <laughs> It's really for his for his dog, but yeah. So we're gonna start by doing this, and I just realized that I don't have any scissors, scissors. But I do think I have a knife in here somewhere. Hold on, give me one second. As it turns out, I do not, so I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. So I had to go get some scissors. Why did I say that so weird? Scissors. Sizzlers. Silers. Anyway, so we're gonna get this. We're gonna get the wrapping. So, first off, I'm not gonna do this tutorial shit. So, what should I talk about while I'm doing this? I guess, um. Uh. What should I talk about? Well, I do not wanna talk about my, uh. My work, or do I have any stories to tell you guys? Um, have I ever told you a story about the time when I got my finger eaten by a snake? I told some of you that, but uh, I'll tell you the rest. So, when I was like um, a kid, my aunt got me a bull snake, and the bull snake was like really, really tiny, right? And I had it for like, for like, for like two months, and I think it passed or something. I think actually no, I think I let it go. Now that I think about it, I don't know. But um, so one time I was out. Um, I know. I got some frozen pinkies from PetSmart, which is like um, those fucking little baby mice, but they're dead and they're frozen and shit. Well, they can be alive or dead, really. But um, anyway. So, sorry.
But um, I was getting ready to feed my to feed my snake, right? And I had a pinky in my hand. Well, my fingers, like I was holding it like this, like by the tail, and I was dangling it in front of the snake. And this happened. I was like freaking like what, ten years old. So I really was actually. I was actually a, a pretty, I actually was a dumbass back then, but not anymore, but uh, back then I was pretty much of a dumbass, but anyway, <laughs> so I, I was trying to feed a snake with my, while holding the pinky with my hand, which was a very, very bad idea because when you, when I was holding the pinky, it, um, the pinky scent got on my hand, and so that caused the snake to get, get the confusion, my finger being confused with the pinky and so what happened was I accidentally dropped the pinky in the cage and I was trying to reach for it to pick it up and the snake like, striked at me and he lunged himself on my finger and that just looked weird but um you know what I mean the snake just launched itself onto my finger and it was trying to eat my whole finger like the snake was like it started off from the tip Yes, pun entirely intended. <laughs> it started off with the tip, and then it worked its way all the way right here. I still remember it to this day. It was like right here, and then I had I was crying. <laughs> I was crying, like because I didn't know what to do, and it didn't hurt that much actually. But like, I was scared because the snake was like actually trying to eat my finger, and I thought to myself, I thought I was gonna die because I didn't know shit back then, and. Yeah, so I thought I was gonna die, but then I had to go, like, call for my aunt. And she and I spent over 30 minutes trying to get the damn snake off. And so, um, after 30 minutes, we got the snake off my finger. And I learned a lesson from that day. To never, ever, ever feed a snake with my hands. Use tweezers. Or just put it in the cage. That's it. Alrighty, so. I'm gonna do this. Put that there. And I guess. Get some fucking tape. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. It's right here. And a nice straight line. There we go. Yeah, that looks perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I think I just fucked up. Now I gotta start all over. Okay, so about like an hour later, finally get the first one done. I, I say, I'll say I did a pretty good job. And now it's on to the rest. Let's roll the montage. Also, I'm really fucking tired. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's actually roll the montage. Montage, montage. Yeah, let's roll the montage. <laughs> transformation.
ho, ho. Let's go save Christmas. All right, guys, so I'm at the first house. Gonna give the SpongeBob gift, which is right there in the golden bag, or my sack, really. And yeah, so this friend I'm doing this to, um, doesn't know that I'm here yet. I'm kind of telling her that <laughs> I'm still like minutes away, but really I am here. I'm just getting ready to prepare for the big moment and shit. So yeah, wish me luck, guys. Alright guys, uh, mission success. I uh, gave the first one to my best friend and um, yeah, she's pretty happy. She's pretty happy. <laughs> it was, I was so worried because um, so I'll tell you guys what I did. So I planned, I'm oh, sorry. So I planned this whole thing out because um, I was going to say, hey, we should take a selfie together and shit. And she was like, okay. But she, she wasn't expecting me to come out as Santa Claus and shit, so I kind of like gave her a double surprise. Like, yes, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be Santa Claus, but I'm also giving you a gift and shit. So <laughs> that went that went perfectly. That went perfectly, and I'm happy for that. I'm happy, and she's happy, so that's good. That's good. Now I gotta go deliver the other gifts. So yeah, sorry, I'm waiting for this car to go. It's snowing, so I gotta be careful too not to slip. So yeah. It's going pretty good so far at Santa Claus, to be honest. So I got tons of gifts to go down, and um, I got someone else helping me get the gifts too, which I hope he's doing his job, so yeah, all right, let's go. <laughs> oh no! Oh gosh, look at this. It's like a fucking blizzard out here. I can barely see. The roads are icy as fuck. I got most of the presents delivered already. And my buddy Carnage just helped me out on that shit, so he's doing pretty good for himself. But it's kind of scary out here, to be honest. Hope no fucking crash or some shit. It's really, really, really superly. And I'm gonna have to walk on foot, to be honest. And if I do, then I have to like run. I have to like yeet the fuck all the all the place and fucking do all the fucking gifts and shit. Ugh. But I'm doing pretty good, guys. I'm doing pretty good. I'm making people happy. Getting them all the gifts, and my buddy Carnage helped me out and shit. So, <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting there. Just gotta get out of the storm. <laughs> wow, that looks good. Hang on, let me get some light. There we go. Alright, guys, so I'm not taking the car anymore because it's way too fucking snowy out here, and I gotta get the gifts to all the boys and girls by tonight, or at least. By tomorrow, shit. So I gotta hurry up. So I'm gonna walk on the foot. I'm gonna walk on the foot. And um, yeah, just wish me luck. I gotta, I gotta run actually. Hope get to all the other houses and shit. So let's go. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh, it's snowing like hell out here, guys. And I've been out here for like what? Almost six hours. It's cold as f. But hey, I'm doing it. I'm getting the gifts delivered. That's good. It's good. It's good. And actually, now I think about it, I look kind of sexy in this beard. All right, guys, did it. Christmas is now saved. I delivered all the gifts. Carnage helped me out a little bit. And yeah, your boy White Horse here just saved Christmas. Now I can take off this uh, silly beard. And now I'm gonna go inside and have some hot chocolate. So yeah, let's go. Let's go back and let's go.
You're welcome, Sena. You're welcome. <laughs> you sly dog. World's largest gun room. Looks like a dick. But hey, I always wanted since I was a kid, so guess my wish came true years later. Oh no way. Oh yes. The one thing that every man wants is bigger tits. <sighs> But not as good as the real deal. Oh, look at this. Godzilla Monopoly. And yes, it's actually a real thing. But hey, Santa Claus, Santa, Santa Claus knows that I like Godzilla. So that's pretty cool. Thank you, Santa. Thank you. And a Merry Christmas. And a happy new year to y'all. Love you. Merry Christmas!